new Ropa Park is finally dressed for the season. We are going to check out the Winter Magic, then get some winterly nighttime rides on the three standout coasters Silver Star, Wodown and Blue Fire. Let's dive right in! We missed the snowy weather by two days, but a dense fog is lying over the park today and gives the area a winterly mystic tinge. We can't even see the whole silver star. It hiding away in the clouds gives it unearthly vibes, and that gets even more excited for it. You feel the Christmas magic at the parking lot, and as you approach the entrance, the decorations and the lights are intensifying. On a foggy winter day in the winter traum, the entrance area looks absolutely festive. It's Thursday at the start of December, not the official holiday time for kids at school. But the park is still well attended, for many people are already on Christmas vacation. So it's not necessarily wise to start the day with the coaster closest to the entrance, we had to visit Silver Star before the fog lifted, so we went there first. First ride of the day, guess what? Silver Star in the nebel. <laughs> a foggy beard and hyper, woo! Have you ever ridden a roller coaster in the clouds? Because now we have, at least it felt like it. The lift hill just vanishes in the sky. And when you're up there, you have no sense of the actual height. Wow, it's a guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we won't include the whole thing here because we will show you the nighttime rides later. But if you want, check out our Cloud Ride POV on the channel. It's absolutely <laughs> worth it. Was it cold? Very cold. I'm cold. I'm, my, my nose is red. It's My nose is running. <laughs> Only one train, man. You will wait forever. So having done that, it's time to soak in the real magic. Everything looks so cool in the fog. You don't even have to wait for the dark. It's so beautiful, yeah. The fog is still dense and gives the overall atmosphere some kind of mystical, almost eerie Christmasly feeling. Everywhere you go, Christmas music underlines the ambience. At some places you even hear the old, traditional German Christmas songs, which is very unique for a theme park. It definitely adds the extra nostalgic touch. For food, we decided to go with the Christmas market options right next to the entrance. We got the traditional German bratwurst, fries with chili and fries with poutine. And of course, hot glühwein and punch. What becomes? Guter Glühwein. All of it was absolutely delicious, and the Glühwein comes in the special Europa Park Glühwein mugs. If you are more of a sweet tooth, there are also waffles, crabs and chimney cakes on offer. We had no time to try them, but they smelled intriguing. As always, the smaller coasters are also beloved by the guests of all ages, and so we ended up waiting longer in line for Matterhorn Blitz than any other ride. But it's always worth the wait as it's so much fun, and gives great views especially of Switzerland and its brilliant lights and decorations. Yeah! Oh, 
nein! nein. When it gets too cold outside, people seek shelter at the Can Can Coaster. But beware, it's still pretty chilly in here. Denise is the best. There is not really a special Christmas overlay on any of the coasters. just scene wise but every station has some festive additions like some extra christmas lights shiny wrapped presents and sometimes even a christmas tree same goes for euromir not really a full christmas display but the queue is decorated with holiday lights and they are playing some kind of special christmas electronic medley wow Euromir gives you stunning views and most importantly great views of the yet to be finished Voltron coaster. All day long people are working hard to finish it in time. We can hardly wait to ride this thing. Next year when in spring Europa Park opens its doors finally again. It most certainly looks spectacular and can be a new elite coaster for Germany, maybe. As it's getting darker, the park looks more and more beautiful. The magic basically intensifies by the minute. The smoking lock. So I can hold their hand while we're ice skating around the tree. As it gets darker, it also gets colder, but you can warm yourself up at one of those countless bonfires around. The Christmas lights, the tremendous amounts of trees and decorations, it all really comes to life in the darkness. It's breathtaking. Some people just come here for those magical evening hours. For this, the park offers special evening tickets. You can experience the ultimate Christmas tree lights Armada in Scandinavia. The lake, which is usually home to the fjord rafting, is now turned into a giant Nordic valley. Watch from the bridge above and soak in the tempting aromas of cinnamon and malt wine from below. Or if you're into ice skating, go down there and join the fun. Skate rental is 4 euros. But we decided not to break our bones that day and went straight on to the coasters. They are much safer. How much? How much is the fish? do you know you this arrow? Save to my heart a waterfall. In love this Christmas, Santa, that would be the greatest gift of all. Send me an extra stock.
We have no time for the parade. We have to ride some coasters. We have to get the most value of our tickets because we are in Germany. What the parade? No. We have parade at home. Our personal highlight and the reason why we are here, the night rides. They are not easy to get in Germany or Europe in general, because in spring and summer, parks usually close before sunset. But in winter, around 4 pm it gets dark rapidly. And Europa Park is open at least until 7 pm. First night ride of the day, Max Mega Coaster Blue Fire. It's an extraordinary experience only looking at it. It's incredible. The track is illuminated in deep radiant blue, which make it look almost like passing lightning. The sky around the coaster is magical due to the thick fog. It catches every ray of light. This creates a mystical atmosphere. Blue Fire is running two trains. One is illuminated and features the Immer Score onboard soundtrack. The other one has neither of that. We definitely prefer the first train, especially in front for the visuals. Those headlights are super bright. They light up the track in front of you just a bit. But if you fly through the tunnel, the light shoots ahead and illuminates the rockwork around you like a flash of lightning. This and the quick interplay of light and darkness intensifies the sense of speed, even though the train is running a bit slower than usual due to the cold. Yeah. But you'll get some nice hang time instead, especially going through the looping and the hardline roll. It's truly enjoyable. Yeah. We definitely prefer this coaster at night. Wow, the sky is so geil! Wow! In the back you actually get some nice airtime, floating airtime. It's not uh, very fast, but uh, it's lovely. Blue fire <laughs> in the night, it's so beautiful. So, and uh, I think the front row is way better on blue fire. Yeah. Okay. Makes so much more fun, that Top Gun feeling. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Blue fire night right? you get some nice, nice, nice visuals. It's very good, yeah. especially you have two trains. One is lit, uh, uh, it has um, some Scheinwerfer, yeah, and the bright. other one is not. And also, uh, it has no working onboard soundtrack. That's, that's, uh, we missed that on our second ride because we had the dark, no onboard soundtrack train. But the other one. The other one comes around uh, only twice. <laughs> with lights, <laughs> and it's just so much fun. A whole different experience is Wodan Timber Coaster by GCI. It's not as brightly illuminated as Blue Fire. Instead, it towers behind it as this great monumental shadow. The wooden structure, though, is illuminated softly from below. This gives especially stunning views as you walk through the queue, but it's not really brightening up the track. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. night is just it, it's verrückt it's really verrückt yeah it's, it's really great it just races through these uh, wood bars and uh, uh, it, it's, it's very dark you can see the track very good and I think uh, it just pulls so strong forces even in the front we had uh, so much bus <laughs> yeah, and uh, somehow if it's so cold we get a lot of airtime because it's run so fast I guess Wudan likes the cold <laughs> it's fine 
There is also a marvelous light mapping show on the big sphere of Can Can Coaster. It starts every evening at 5 pm and is then shown every 30 minutes or so. So at some point you will most likely catch it by happy accident. That morning we had our favorite ride so far on Silver Star. Let's see if we can top this. And we are also totally into Silver Star night rides, but so is everyone else. Now as an addition to the fog comes the darkness and we were really excited how this would affect our ride experience. Like Wodan, Silver Star has no additional lights to light it, except the one strip of blue Christmas lights at the side of the lift hill. Going up you just can't tell where the hill ends. The shadow draws some kind of endless track in the sky. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Again you dive in the clouds, but this time you are followed by the shadow of the train itself, occasionally emerging beside and above you on the solid wall of fog. It is absolutely beautiful. It's cold, but it's beautiful. And still the train is running at good speed. You get your floating airtime and even some ejector airtime on the last hill. We absolutely loved it. Wow. Wow. And how did you like it? <laughs> it was so awesome. I loved it. This was my, like in the clouds, but awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cloudy. Even after the attractions are closed, you can linger a bit and soak in the absolute gorgeous atmosphere as you slowly make your way back to the entrance. Wow, it looks so beautiful this park. The Christmas market also closes a bit later. Last chance to do some Christmas shopping, get a bratwurst or a glühwein and again soak in the overall atmosphere. A really nice and relaxing way to end the day instead of being just kicked out. Everybody is taking their time. This adds up perfectly with the cheerful mood you're absolutely in by now. Last but not least thanks to the staff. Every single employee we encountered was an absolute expert in guest experience. And when you're finally ready to go home you wander back through the brilliantly festive German Main Street. Even Santa Claus himself is making an appearance and uses his Christmas magic to make it snow. That's so beautiful. Why is this three missing? <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah, next year. They need Luft nach oben, Schatz. Yeah, a little bit Luft nach oben. We had an absolutely amazing day here and we will sure do it again next year. There is so much to see and we had by far no time to explore it all. If you come from further away, we would really recommend you to plan at least for two days. It's definitely worth it, especially to get those unique night rides. Thank you very much for watching.